I'm Danae Hudson. I'm a professor of psychology at Missouri State University. And I'm Brooke Wisenhut, also a professor of psychology at Missouri State. And together we authored Revel Psychology First Edition. Danae and I met almost 20 years ago. We are having our 20 year friendship anniversary coming up. We share a research lab and do all the same research together, teach the same classes. So we used to teach classes of 163 people and there'd just be one of us. So I'm standing up there giving my best lecture and then I look out and half of the students are either not paying attention, they're on their phone, they're on their laptop. That realization I think happened at the exact right time. When we were starting to see options that there are opportunities to deliver content in different ways. We started developing the most difficult concepts approach through our own redesign. One of our main goals was to be able to come up with a way to tackle the issues in every chapter that we were seeing semester after semester were basically repeat offenders. <laughs> like These are chronically problems for our students. They always struggle with things like classical conditioning and operant conditioning when you get to the learning chapter. They don't understand it. They read it, they try, they don't get it. We were able to identify the most difficult concepts in each chapter specifically hone in on what the misconceptions are associated with that difficult concept and then figure out a method to assess that. And so we thought, well, if we've seen now at this point that they struggle with the same things over and over again, we had this aha moment that was sort of like, well, if we know that already, why couldn't we build something into the learning experience in the book that would address those, those difficult concepts that we know were there? we created a number of adaptive pathway videos. So these videos are less than two minutes long, they're very targeted, and their goal is to correct that student's misconception. We wanna know that A, this is a difficult concept, only 50% of them are answering the pinpoint question correctly. We show them a two minute video, and then all of a sudden 85% of them are answering it correctly. Two weeks later on an exam, are they still able to remember that better than someone who didn't see the video? So we like to think of our product as evidence-based and empirically supported. Evidence-based means that we use the existing literature in the scholarship of teaching and learning. What do we know from cognitive scientists about how students learn? It's empirically supported in that we have, from the very beginning, been committed to scientifically examining whether or not this product is effective. We have been consistently and continually collecting data and then changing things. So if something's not working, we changed it. So up until the very last minute, we were changing changing um, questions and editing videos to make sure that we were putting something out there that had the best evidence possible. One of the things we're most excited about, I think, is our instructor resource package. The set of cultivated um, classroom activities, assignments, um, writing tools, things like that, um, that are specifically designed to address those misconceptions. Our annotated instructor's edition. It's print of all the content uh, in the program and screenshots of all the digital interactives and things like that. It's annotated by Dr. Melissa Beers from The Ohio State University. She's an incredible person and she devotes her career to teaching graduate students how to be teachers of psychology. So even if you never looked at the instructor resources and just had the annotated instructor's edition, I think an instructor would feel like, wow, I would have loved that resource, as, especially as a new teacher, but even mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm.